hi everybody welcome to live blogger in this video i'll show you how to add this custom design to your wordpress website now in one of my previous videos i had shown you how to design this from scratch using html and css and i will leave the link of the video in the description of this video and i will also leave the link of the source code and in this video i'll show you how to add this design to your wordpress website so let's get started <laughs> Right here I have logged into my WordPress dashboard and for running this WordPress website locally I am using this app called Local by Flywheel. So you can just download this for free from Google by just searching for Local by Flywheel. And just create a new WordPress website by clicking on this plus icon and uh, entering the details. And you can just go ahead and select the website and click on WP Admin and you'll be able to log into your WordPress website. So here I have logged into my website and uh, let's go ahead and add this inside a new page. So let's go over here to pages and uh, let's create a new page. So let's click on add new page. And here for the title, I just type about us. You can add any title you want and you can add all the text you want over here. So you can add a paragraph if you want over here by typing something like this. And whenever you want to add this custom design, you can just go ahead and create a custom HTML block. So you can click on this plus icon and search for custom HTML. So you can find it over here. Or you can also just go ahead and type forward slash and start typing custom HTML. So you can find the block over here. So let's click on it. And now we can see it says write HTML. So here we can write the HTML, CSS and JavaScript code. So let's go ahead and add our code over here. So first of all, I'll just add the CSS. So we can add the CSS inside a style block. So I'll just create a style block over here. And inside this style tag, we will add the CSS. So let's go to our source code. And this is our CSS. So let's copy all the CSS from here. And let's paste it inside the style tag. And now let's go outside the style tag and here let's add the HTML. So let's go back to our source code. Let's go to the HTML file and let's copy this division from here. This division with the class of team container and let's paste it over here. Now here we have added our HTML and CSS. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to update the source of the images. So right now it is set to images forward slash person one dot jpg. Now this file is basically in our local project right now. So we need to upload these images into our WordPress website and get the links and paste them over here. So I'll just go back to the dashboard and let's click on media and let's click on add new media file. Now let's click on select files and here we have these three images. Let's select all of them and let's click on open. And here we can see these three images have been uploaded. So let's get the links and paste them over here. So the first image is person one, then we have person three and person two. So this is, let's go to the end of the URL and this is for person three. So let's copy this URL from here. You can just click on copy URL and let's paste it over here for person three. And let's do the same for the other images. So let's close this. Let's open this one. And uh, this one is for person two. So let's click on copy URL to clipboard. And uh, let's paste it over here for person two. And then lastly, we have person one. So we have person one over here. Let's click on copy URL. And let's paste it over here for the person one image. And that's it with the HTML. So if we click on preview, we can see how our HTML design will look on our web page. So if you hover over this, we have the animation being displayed. So now let's go ahead and publish this and let's see how it looks. So let's click on publish and let's click on publish over here as well. And here we can see our page was published. Let's click on view page. And this is the about us page. And here we have the images and we have the text that we added before this custom design. And let's hold over this and we have the animation being displayed correctly. Now here we can see we have this edit button, but it is uh, displayed behind the image when you hover over this. So let's right click over here and go to inspect and uh, Let's go to the container division, which is team container. And uh, now here, if you scroll down here, we can see that uh, we have set a height of 300 pixels for this. So let's increase the height a little bit. And uh, let's also set the height for this images container. 
So here for the images container, let's change the height of 100% to a fixed height. Let's try 300 pixels and uh, let's increase the height a little bit. So here for the team container, let's increase the height to 400 pixels and that looks all right. So we need to set the height of the main container to 400 pixels and for the inner container to 300 pixels. So here for the team container, let's set it to 400 pixels. And for images container, let's set the height to 300 pixels. And let's go to preview and it is looking all right. Let's click on update. Let's go back to our page and reload. And now we can see everything looks all right. So that's basically how you can add this custom design to your WordPress website. Alright, so that's basically it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.